Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be unboxing the BT Smart Hub 2. This is for my grandparents for their internet. They currently have a BT Home Hub 5 and although they pay for like 70 megabytes um, download speed, look at this speed test here. That's like the most they get. Um, which is not bad to be fair, but when they're paying for 72 megs. And if you plug an Ethernet cable into the router and do a speed test you do get 72 and it shows on the um, online management hub that it is receiving 70 megabytes so yeah they've had it for like seven years since they've moved in literally yeah the only ethernet thing they have is this e signal booster thing because signal's not too good around here so yeah they recently upgraded to bt halo and like I spoke to one of the people on the BT Online chat, they are very helpful, all I wanted was this new Smart Hub 2, but they upgraded us to the new plan, because they hadn't been on a contract for years, because they forgot to do it, so they've been paying like loads of extra money, so, yeah, here it is, I've already taken the plastic off because it had like the address and that on it, and cables, so, although the cables do look pretty much the same, I will be replacing them. We won't need the micro filter because they've got the Master Socket 5C with the faceplate with the ADSL built into it. The Ethernet cable won't be used, but I'll take it out of the box because I'll be able to use it for something. Um, they uh, gave me one from the other one to me anyway. Um, the RJ11 cable for it. Now I'll just be keeping it. No, I won't be keeping this. I'll be plugging this in and using it because even though they've already got one, it's like, well, that's seven years old, isn't it? So I might as well replace it as well. If they did have an older socket, I would just use this one as well, but they've got the new one. So here it is. Now this looks a lot nicer than the other one. It's quite heavy, actually. Seems not nice quality. So yeah, oh, I've actually got a phone jack in, which is pretty cool, I guess. I don't think we'll be using that. I think we'll just keep it as normal. So the fourth Ethernet port is a one port, which is for if you have fibre fiber to the premises, which in this case, you know the green box that you see on the side, and it's the same in most people's houses, the green box, a fibre cable comes into that, and it goes into your house using a normal copper telephone cable. On a lot of new estates, they're doing fibre to the premises, which is a fibre cable coming into your house and terminating in a small ONT box. You'll plug an Ethernet cable from that into here. But I believe this is like phone over broadband or something. But the only reason they have a landline phone is because their mobile signal isn't very good. So I, I'll just keep it plugged in there. Now on here is your wireless details. I know most people cover that up but I'm, um, with the glare from the sun. You can't really see it anyway. But I will not be covering it up because as soon as we get this plugged in I'll be changing it because on the old one we had it changed to like low family and we had the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz separated so I'll have this um, name and password exactly the same as the other one sticker with the hub2 info but this will not be useful because as I said it will be changing it now the plug comes in two different pieces so yeah, here it is so this just clips into that clip. So let me unplug the old one now and I'll show you. This is actually quite a nice little hub to be fair, if it worked properly. <laughs> yeah, this new one is bigger. See, so it is a decent amount bigger than this old one. So the ports are pretty much the same except for this. Um, this one doesn't have a set, the new one doesn't have a separate one port and the old one doesn't have the phone port which won't be getting used anyway. Yeah, although these cables are pretty much the same, we're going to disregard this one, no longer need it. So yeah, let's plug this new cable into it. This is very annoyingly placed. It's very difficult to get a cable into there. Here we go. New cable into it. Now they've got this very janky setup here because they didn't want an extension need on the floor. But these plugs are massive for no reason. Alright, well let's plug in the new broadband cable. Let's get it plugged in. Let's see what light it comes up with. And another thing that needs to be done is the only Ethernet device that's ever going to be plugged into this, I bet. That is the port number one. 
and this one's a lot heavier than the old one which is good because this is a thick ethernet cable it's going down there it used to drag the other one sometimes which was not really what would happen because these ones are very lightweight they're not heavy at all very flimsy things boom it's got the blue light on it so i'm going to take the wi-fi card out and just do a speed test on my phone before i change anything oh this wi-fi password is so long look at that look at how long that password is thank god we're changing it <laughs> you've got to be taking the bits so we are now connected so let's do a speed test Ten times better. Wow, look at that compared to the old one. So yeah, guys, it's been about two weeks since I set up, filmed that video setting up the Smart Hub 2. And yeah, it's been working really well. I'll just show a speed test right now while I'm talking, which I did yesterday when I was back there. Um, I forgot to film an outro clip when I was there, so I just there's this picture I found on Google of the Smart Hub 2. So yeah. On the old BT Hub 5, I'd separated the 2.4 GHz band and the 5 GHz band. I wanted to do that on this hub as well, but I did not actually know that that is not possible. I googled it, I looked on a BT forum, and it says that it is not possible to separate the 5 and 2.4 GHz band. Um, something to do with the BT's um, smart Wi-Fi, like how they have the Wi-Fi disk, and that's something to do with, the, with smart Wi-Fi. I don't know, so I just, I still changed it, I, um, changed the low family Wi-Fi and then the password, the same as the old hub, which was annoying because it meant that I had to go and reconnect everything in the house. If they let me separate the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band, I would have named it exactly the same as the old hub and everything would have reconnected. But yeah, apart from that, it's a really good hub and I don't think most people care about that anyway. So thank you guys for watching, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.